Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank <Yay>. you. <laughs> that, was, that was fantastic. So I am here sitting with Richard for I Got Your Miracle. I Got My Miracle. And this is Richard's third time at Rhythmia. And every single time that Richard has landed, arrived, and then spread his wings back to South Korea, he has gotten his miracle. And so this time around, we have invited him into our little abode here to share about your miracle. Well, thank you. Thank you. So happy to be here. It's, yeah. it's amazing to have you. It's amazing to have you on so many different levels. Mm -hmm. And I know that one of your biggest gifts, all three times that Richard has landed here at Rhythmia, is the joy. The joy, yes. the unconditional <laughs> love. And then, of course, yes. the howling at the moon and the stars that wakes all of us up. <laughs> I love that. I love channeling mother and how she rolls through me and I'm able to be wild and primal and just connect with that energy. It is, it's so beautiful to just stay in that. Mm. Yeah. You said something so beautiful uh, when we did our sharing in preparation for, for this miraculous day of you sharing mm -hmm. your world of rhythmia is you sure. said that what what aya has taught you that is part of your your miracle each and every time you come here is authenticity yes can you can you speak to that you know it's funny because in your uh my older executive life you'd always meet people you might not be your full self because you're wondering how, always how other people are thinking or how should you be reacting in this situation or your ego self is picking up the stuff that it's about you. But, you know, you come here and you take ayahuasca and all that disappears. The only thing left is you want to be your authentic self mm -hmm. and your authentic self and you out there, your authentic self is just love. It is just love. It's so ingrained in us. It's, and it's, you just connect with that. And even, even when you connect with that and you talk to people and it might not resonate, but at least they understand that you're coming from an authentic place and they're okay with that. Mm -hmm. And so that's the beauty of it. Richard, let's talk about um, that vibrational field of love. <laughs> Because not only do you channel that first and foremost for yourself, mm -hmm. you're channeling it for the whole room, for the whole yeah. world, and you vocalize and you move. Yeah. And, you know, I asked you earlier about that movement, that love that you bring forth so generously. Yeah. You know? I, you know, the, we're all just love. When you, when you break it down, and yes, you you might get frustrated at times, but the times of frustration, or times of uh, anger, you, you look back and you're like, well, that didn't serve me. Well, why, why did I do that? And you realize your ego had just picked it up and then you're able to move that aside and, and just stay in love. And then when you stay in love, this vibration grows and grows and grows. And because the vibration grows, other people can feel it. And that's why every time coming back here, I've had more and more people join me because you go back to the real world and they're like, what's going on with that guy? And because they can sense it. And then that's, you know, you're just growing in this love. So the way you see Richard right now, right? He looks like he's in love. He's like this all the time. <laughs> and that's the gift yes. that we get to have each and every time that Richard returns to Rhythmia is this bottle of love, this authenticity, and this miraculous way in which you also 
create this wonderful platform for your friends and family to come here. Yeah. Right? Yes. I think, you know, during my times of, of working and, you know, I was an executive for 15 years and, you know, all of it, all this journey kind of gets you to a place where, oh my God, I have to change my life. Mm -hmm. And then you come here and you do the medicines and then you figure out that it's just all love. And mm -hmm. when you start getting to that place, you just keep changing and raise that vibration and get other people to come here. And it's, it's wild. I'm hoping that I, I have a party here of a hundred of my friends <laughs> in this vibration right now. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you've been escorted out of the Maloka a few times. <laughs> and just what that means oh, is no. <laughs> that um, we just ask Richard to go and take his, his beautiful work outside for a moment in time. And I feel that that's when you truly are communing with nature. Yeah. Um, first off, I think the staff here is so wonderful. <laughs> they always escort me out in a very gentle way. They know that I'm channeling and I'm really deep in it. And then when I get outside and you really connect with mother, the earth, and you get grounded in, and then you feel the energy rise, and then you just, yeah, <laughs> you feel the, the stars and the galaxy and the family out there, and also mother in the ground and everywhere, and it's, you get to further, deeper places. And so I love, well, I love everyone inside the Maloka. I also love being outside the Maloka. And it, um, in, in enhances your journey and your miracle when you go out because then you yes. come back in and you give all of that love to all of us yes I you know <laughs> through your dance through just walking around and holding still that authentic space within yourself of the work mm -hmm. and there's a vibrational current in which for sure yeah. you are so generously yeah. offering and so i just i have to acknowledge that miracle <laughs> thank you when I get back into the Maloka, ah, oh, I feel the energy of all the people there. And I love their struggle. You have to, you have to honor the darkness. You have to honor the pain that you went through because it teaches you that love and it teaches you a higher sense of it. And when you get the love, you're grateful for that journey that you had. And I know the people are on their journey. It's wonderful to watch. And that's why I love sending the love when I get back into the room. <laughs> <laughs> he's very vocal about it. You can't miss Richard when he's either outside doing the work or inside doing the work. And it's really part of everyone's miracle. And it's true. We have to go into, into the darkness. That's where the work is yes. in order to be able to work on such a high level of of love, of mm -hmm. unconditional love. For sure. Yes. For sure. Wow, Richard. So I know that part of the miracle that we we speak today of is a major change that you are embarking upon. So do you want to share about that change? Oh, wow. Uh, how has this change affected me? Um, I got here and mother had told me to get closer to nature. And so I was, I was asking, Mother, I'd like a gentle transition into nature. And so Mother, two weeks before coming here, this time, I get, a, I get a call from the company wondering if I'd like a retirement package. And it was fantastic. And so here I am. I'm moving to Costa Rica. <laughs> That's the miracle. <laughs> That's my miracle. That's the miracle. Yeah. yeah. And it teaches you every time I watch nature here, it teaches you how abundant we are. 
we'd like to think we're disconnected from nature, but we're not. You don't see a tree out there with one leaf or one piece of fruit. You see a hundred thousands of fruit on a tree, thousands of leaves. We're that abundance, but in the city, you know, they always say you're lacking something, but you got to connect with the abundance because you are the abundance. And so for me, it's here. I hope it's here for you guys as well. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. So miracles all around. Richard is moving to Costa Rica to fulfill uh, the next level of your service to the world and to nature and yes. working with this medicine. Yeah. And so with this medicine, what do you, what do you see for yourself in the future? Cause you are returning each and every time to Rhythmia. I am, I'm positive. I'll be back here. Um, looking to bring more people. Like I said, I'd like to have a hundred of us fill that Maloka and see if we can't vibrate to the point where, where the whole place is shaking. I would love that. Amazing. Yeah. So if you're friends with Richard, you know, send him a message because he is um, putting his <laughs> wish list together of his dearest friends. I got to meet some of his friends here and they speak wonder about him because not only is Richard this way in, in, in this moment that you see him, he's like this all the time. I, you know, <laughs> just on top of that, I love my soul family on my November trip and I, I tore my soul family on my December trip and this one as well. I mean, each one that you come to shows you your soul connection with all these people. You might not connect with everyone here, but you definitely know there's people here that you knew in your lifetimes that you're supposed to be together with. I love that about this. Well, we love you <laughs> and we love your laughter and your joy. Well, thank you. And so the door to the miracles of Rhythmia are just waiting for you to come forth and yeah. be part of again and yeah. again and again. Yeah. So yeah. thank you so, so much. Thank Is you. there any last things that you want or, or, or channel yeah. maybe for our wonderful viewers? I want to say that I, I love you all. And if you get a chance to come here, it's the biggest gift of self-love that you can do for yourself. I love you. I can't help but ask Richard to close with a little bit of a woo! <laughs> woo! 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's ohm out. All right. <sighs> <sighs> Oh. oh.